Welcome to the Data Manipulation Webcast. In this webcast, we will look at how to reformat, subset, and sort data in Minitab. Suppose we have data that we copied over from Excel. You can see in the worksheet that we have a column of dates and a column of distances. Before we can begin to analyze this data set, the first thing you may notice is that even though column C2 contains numeric values, we see it's labeled C2-T, where the dash T indicates that Minitab thinks this column is text. This is somewhat common when we copy data over from Excel and is problematic because if, for example, we need to create a histogram or run a t-test, Minitab will not allow us to select a text column. To change the format, choose Data, Change Data Type, and in this case, we want to convert a text column to numeric. In the first field, we will enter our text column, and in the next field, we can either enter a blank column, such as column C3, or we can overwrite column C2. Looking at the C2 column header, we can now see that the column is properly formatted as numeric. The next thing we're going to look at is how to pull information such as the year, the month, or the hour from a date time column. For this data set, suppose we want to compare the distances for Monday versus Tuesday versus Wednesday, etc. To convert dates into the corresponding days of the week, choose data, date time. To display the weekdays as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, we can choose extract to numeric, or to spell out the day of the week, we can choose extract to text. First, we will enter the date column, then we will call our new column weekday, select day of week, and click OK. Here in the worksheet, we now see our new weekday column indicating, for example, that March 4, 2013 fell on a Monday. Suppose we now want to create a new separate worksheet that includes only data for distances greater than three. To subset data, choose Data, Subset Worksheet. Then we will enter the name of our new worksheet. And with the Include option selected, we can click Condition to specify our condition statement. In this case, we want to create a new worksheet for distances greater than three. Using the Show Worksheets button, we can see that we now have two worksheets, our original worksheet and the new subsetted worksheet. Using our new worksheet, Suppose the last thing we need to do is to sort the data from smallest to largest. To sort data in Minitab, choose Data, Sort. We can then tell Minitab to sort all of the data by the distance column. To overwrite the original columns, we can click this button and then click OK. We can now see that the distances have been sorted from smallest to largest. This concludes the webcast. To learn more, we offer instructor-led training, and we also offer free technical support. For more information on training or to contact your local Minitab technical support team, please visit minitab.com.